Hello Dick Van Dyke Show friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is KJ Ricardo and today's video is a review of last week's Colorized Special. This special included the episodes Baby Fat and The Bottom of Mel Cooley's Heart. These are both really hilarious episodes and it was fun to watch them in color for the very first time. The color was gorgeous in both episodes. It makes you notice things like the costumes, props, set designs that you might not notice as much when the episode is in black and white. With color, you notice things and it's a really fun experience. It's almost like you're watching the episode for the very first time. That's really cool to me because the show premiered nearly 60 years ago, has been on reruns for decades, and the fact that we could still watch a, a new special, see it in color for the first time, makes you feel like you're watching the episode for the very first time when we have seen it numerous times before. That's a really cool experience, and that intrigues me as a fan, and I look forward to seeing more colorized specials. Getting into each individual episode first, Baby Fat. I love this episode and seeing it in color was a really fun experience. Seeing Alan Brady's office in color was gorgeous. All the costumes, including Sally's clothes and Laura, her beautiful nightgown that she wears in this episode, it was gorgeous. However, I have a major complaint about this special. The special completely cut the scene with Buck Brown, guest starred by Richard Ehrman. If you remember from the original episode, he is the costume designer for the play that Alan Brady is appearing in. Alan told everyone else that Rob is his tailor, and Rob had an opinion about the apricot bows. Buck Brown storms into the dressing room, and he scolds Rob for his critical remark about the apricot bows. It's a hilarious scene and CBS cut the scene from the special. I know it was cut to include more commercials, but still, it's a hilarious episode. And when Rob later comes home and talks to Laura about his day, he mentions Buck Brown. So if someone was watching this color and special, was watching this episode for the very first time, they wouldn't know what he is talking about. They wouldn't understand that reference because CBS cut the scene with Buck Brown. So it's a major clarity issue for me. Now, if CBS was going to cut the scene with Buck Brown to fit in more commercials, that's fine. I can understand that, but also cut the reference that Rob makes to Laura. Cut that too. That would solve the clarity issue. And so I don't know why they removed the scene with Buck Brown, but still kept in that reference. That doesn't make any sense to me. And so that really puzzled me. And I thought about that. Moving on to the second episode, The Bottom of Mel Cooley's Heart. I love this episode. This is a great episode featuring Richard Deacon as Mel Cooley. It's the only episode of The Dick Van Dyke Show that really features Mel prominently. The color looked great in this episode. All of the costumes, the props, including the vase that Rob is fixing at home, that was beautiful in color. Noticing all the different colors on that vase, you only get that experience when it is in color rather than black and white. Again, I have a major issue with this episode with the clarity. CBS shortened the scene at the office when Rob is talking to Buddy and Sally about boosting Mel's confidence that they have to build it up. So they're going to go to lunch and talk to him. Buddy keeps making jokes and insults about Mel and it really frustrates Rob and Sally. And so before they leave, Rob tells Sally to give Buddy some bread at lunch if he starts to say anything about Mel. That was cut from the episode, but they kept in all the moments where Sally gives bread to Buddy at lunch. It's a hilarious joke, but they cut that whole reference from the episode where Rob told Sally to do that. And so again, if you were watching the episode for the very first time, you wouldn't really understand that joke as much because he, she says, here, have some bread. Or he says, I'll find my own bread. 
it doesn't make any sense because they cut that from the episode. And so, again, it's a clarity issue. If CBS was going to cut that from the episode to fit in more commercials, then also cut the times when Sally gives Buddy bread. And that would solve the issue. That's all that they would have to do to fix the issue is look at the episode, see what is being cut and making sure that there isn't a reference to that cut scene. That's all. That's all that they would have to do. And so overall, I really enjoyed this special. The colorization was gorgeous. It was really fun to watch these episodes. They're hilarious episodes, but there were some major clarity issues that fans of the Dick Van Dyke show definitely noticed. I'm not the only one who noticed these clarity issues. And so I think for next time that CBS makes another color special, just focus a little more on the clarity of the episodes and making sure that all of the references make sense and that if there's going to be a scene cut from the episode for commercials, I understand that they have to fit in more commercials than the 1960s. I understand that, but if they're going to cut scenes, make sure that there isn't a reference to the scene that they're going to cut. That's my only opinion. <laughs> and so I hope that you enjoyed this video and hearing my thoughts about the special. I really enjoyed watching it. It's so much fun to watch these specials for the very first time to see what everything looks like in color. I enjoy that. But there, there are some major clarity issues. And so I'm curious to hear what you think. Did you watch this color special? Let me know what you thought of it, and I would be happy to read your thoughts. I want to remind everyone that there is another Color Eye special this Friday night, May 28th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on CBS. It's a rerun of two previous Color Eye episodes, Where Did I Come From and Never Bathe on Saturday. These episodes have already been colorized and CBS is re-airing them. I'm not going to make a review of this special because it's a rerun. I've already reviewed the specials in the past, but it's still going to be a really fun experience and watching Dick Van Dyke show on a Friday night on primetime television. That's going, it's always fun to do that. And then again, I want to remind everyone that on Sunday, June 6th at 8 p.m. Eastern time on CBS, Dick Van Dyke will be honored with the Kennedy Center Honors. They have already had the honors. If you have been following them on social media, they had the honors this past weekend. They were great. Dick Van Dyke looked so happy and they filmed it and they'll be airing the honors on Sunday, June 6th at 8 p.m. Eastern time on CBS. And I plan to put together some a video about the honors afterwards. And so you can look forward to that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time with another video. And remember to always laugh often.